Hello everyone, Nels Klein here. I'm here to tell you about Tone Concepts pedal called the distillery. What is the distillery pedal? It seems like it could be a mystery because it's very subtle. But it's really a boost pedal with very uh, subtle and at the same time noticeable tone shaping capability. I would use it quite often and I do use it to defeat unwanted tonal, sort of harsh tonal aspects of backline amplifiers, for example, that I'm often having to play through. Because uh, when I'm not touring with Wilco with my fabulous Schroeder amp and my big 412 cabinet, I'm playing through whatever is there. And sometimes these amplifiers, frankly, sound horrible. So how can that be, you know, defeated? How can I get the sound I want? Well, I can bring the distillery pedal with me and put it in a very passive but tone shaping setting. So they have this bleed channel. If I put it counterclockwise, I can defeat unwanted treble. Here I am now in my home playing through my little analog outfitter's Sarge amp. Well, it sounds great. You know, it doesn't really need any help, frankly. But, you know, we're on the road, you know. So I have it set up right now with the bleed knob almost all the way counterclockwise. But I also have a little bit of boost. So this is sustain, tone, it's really great. So let's hear the difference. sound or I can turn it the other way and you know sparkle it up a bit you know, it's a nice thing but then you can get even more in fact that the gain possibilities of this pedal are kind of insane because let's see if you can hear the difference that's with the boost barely on did you hear the difference amp here so I'm driving the amp when I kick that in but just imagine if you could get more you're playing your rhythm guitar thing and uh, you turn the uh, contour and edge stage on as well really subtle but that wasn't really all that subtle was it but it's cool but what I like is this here let's just go back to mild boost Thank you. 
but playing solo guitar is terrifying. Uh, I had a little Magna vibe on there and a tiny bit of delay, but that was the distillery kind of driving slightly in a warm, distorted way my little 15 watt amp. And uh, let's see, this is why everyone thinks it's an overdrive. It's what I was saying before. I've got a low wattage amp, I can just, you know. <laughs> turn the boost up just one or two degrees more. Stand back. It's not bad. It's not bad, but if you have a, an amp with some headroom, the possibilities in the boost and the tone shaping department are pretty vast. So I recommend that you get a distillery pedal, put it at the very beginning of your chain if you use a lot of effects pedals, and see what that does. See how it affects other uh, overdrive or distortion effects. But you also put it after all these things and use the contour to add definition to massive amounts of distortion. But I didn't set up all my usual array of distortion here today because I'm lazy. I just wanted to play the distillery pedal with a tiny bit of delay, and that's what I've been doing. So I uh, hope that's enough for you, the listener, the player, and thanks.